The Clarkson College community remembers this recent graduate killed in a crash. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. 24-year-old Abby Olberding of Carroll, Iowa, died just over two weeks ago. Douglas County deputies say 54-year-old Amy Ferno crossed the center line on West Center Road and hit her car. Olberding died at the scene. KETV Newswatch 7's Abby Peterson shows us how Olberding's college is honoring her life and legacy. Abby joins us live. The ceremony today was extremely emotional for everyone as Olberding was just a 2022 Clarkson grad. What made it even more sad is the fact that today would have been Abby's 25th birthday along with her twin brother. Holding on to each other, the Olberdings look down at their daughter's name etched on a memorial brick just dedicated in the Clarkson College Garden. In memory of Abby Olberding. It's something they never expected to see. I, we just can't believe that it's that it's true. You know, she's gone. Two weeks ago, Abby died in a crash on West Center Road. A Jeep crossed the center line and ran into her Chevy Impala near 267th Street. She was like my go-to for everything. She was my friend. She was my shopping bunny. She was the one to help me with family gatherings. Jared and Brenda Olberding say they should all be together today celebrating Abby's 25th birthday with her twin brother Blake. Still they know she's there. She's definitely looking down on this smiling and loving every minute of it that people are thinking of her and just people a lot of people thought the world of her. My name's Bob Howard. One of those people a Clarkson College Board of Directors member. Abby was his physical therapist. But she put a smile on her face. She came to the front door. She welcomed me, and we spent an hour together Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Bob Howard says he didn't let Abby know he was a board member until he gave her a flower on stage at graduation. I want to miss you, Abby. God bless you. And through their grief, it's stories like that which reaffirm what the Olberdings already knew. How great their daughter was. We're very proud of her. I mean, you do your best you can when you're raising your children. You're not sure. I mean, there's no manual. And it's just wonderful to hear how great of a woman she turned out to be. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says they're still investigating the crash that killed Olberding and say they don't believe speed or alcohol were factors. Back to you. All right, such a poignant ceremony. Abby, thanks.